Hi there, hope you are doing great. In this video, we are going to be talking about the pie chart widget of the Elements Kit plugin. Open any page with the Elementor page builder. After that, in the search panel, search pie chart. And there you'll find the pie chart by Elements Kit. Drag and drop the widget on your page. And then you'll find a predefined chart, which is a simple chart. From here, you can select with content, but let's see the simple chart first of all. And in the simple chart, you have the percentage and icon. Let's select the icon from here. And the percentage I want to use is 90%. And from the icon, I'm going to choose HTML5. All right, now if you go to the style tab, there you can work with the pie chart size. All right, now it's 150, but let's make it 400. After that, the border size, All right now it's five. Let's make it 15. Then if you go to the color type, there you have normal color and the gradient color. Let's choose the gradient color. After that, from the bar type color, choose red. And then you have gradient color one and gradient color two. Let's choose the gradient color one blue. And gradient color two is the light blue. Now to make it more visible, I need to increase the border size. Uh, let's make it 30 pixel. Now if you go to the icon color, from here you can choose the icon color you want. I guess in here, blue color would be perfect. The colors I'm choosing right now are just for the testing purpose, just to show you how it's work. Then if you open the background tab, there you'll have the background padding and the box shadow. Let's choose the background type color. From here, I'll choose a little bit gray color. And uh, gray color has taken all the areas. And you can also change the color on hover. Beside the colors, you can also work with the hover animation. Let's choose a hover animation. I want to choose bouncing. And if I hover on it, you can see it's bouncing. They will find around 20 animation. You can choose the buzz, buzz out, wibble top, and some other animation. I want to change it to skew. And there you can see it becomes skew when I hover on this pie chart. So it's only for the testing purpose just to show you how the animation is working. Now if you go to the content tab, and from pie chart style, if you choose the wood content style, there you have title and the description. In the bottom, you have the control to give a title and a description. I want to keep the settings as it is because I don't need anything here. And then you have the content type. By default, it's selected to static, but you can select it to flip card, but I want to keep it as static. Then if you go to the style tab, there you have the option to work with the content. From the content, you can work with the content color and the typography. We have already learned about how to change the color, so we want to know more about the typography. So if you click on the typography control, there you have the option to work with the typography font family, font size, font width, line height, and letter spacing. Let's choose the font family to Poppins, and the font size I want to choose is 24 pixel. Then if you open up this title, there you can work with the title color and the typography. From here, I want to increase the title margin to 30 pixel. And from typography, I want to increase the font size to 64 pixel. So this is all about the setting that will help you to work with the pie chart of the Elements Kit plugin. Thank you for watching this video.